Hey guys, welcome to Vinny's lab and today I'm wearing gloves because it is paint job day! I received the final version of the multimeter front panel so we are ready to touch up with sandpaper uh, fixing some warping on, on the parts and then we are going outside to paint it because yeah paint stinks so let's go to the bench work out with sandpaper fix fixing things and then we go outside here we are on the bench and we have the previous test part I use as reference to test the dimensions and see the contraction on the printer because even the SLA because this is a very uh, big part uh, there are uh, warping on the part that I actually I wasn't expecting this is my first experience with SLA you can see that it this is clearer and this is more yellowish the reason is is basically the same resin but this is not fully cured and this had a fully curing process so yeah it gets uh, darker when, when you have a uh, curing and I also uh, was testing here with uh, the aluminum tape because this region I'm gonna create a guard here first of all I'm gonna do some uh, adjustment and filing here because the uh the, the the binding post they 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 are the ban well the banana sockets actually not binding posts uh they, they are a little bit uh tight so i'm just gonna make a very light uh filing on on those round holes and the triaxial connector uh is very tight it's not fitting at all so uh we are gonna start uh, working on these holes so I, I have here uh, this uh, bottle thing with uh, a little bit of water. The reason is is I, I don't wanna create too much dust here and also we're gonna be using uh, water-based sandpaper. Uh, so yeah, we, we need water. So I'm gonna just start in doing this light cut. So I, I bought specifically this uh, small uh, filings here to, uh, to, to be able to do this job. Um, now we need to do the like more most annoying part actually I should had showed you guys before I make this thing wet that is the warping so what happens is when when we place the part here uh, I hope you can see but here in the middle we we don't have any gap here on this corner we have a little bit of gap and here on this side we have a huge gap I can even put my nails uh, here inside so what I'm gonna need to do is to uh, remove a little bit of uh, this this part here because I uh, this gap drives me nuts so uh, so I, I'm gonna be uh, ma making this straight uh, so it's gonna have a little bit more of penetration here and this way we can remove this gap because I can't live with this gap so here I am outside was a little bit tricky to uh, regulate the webcam exposure because there's too much light here so yeah, so I I warmed up a little bit the part, and it's funny because got lighter again with the temperature. Uh, yeah, so it's funny. Anyways, uh, um, it's very wind, wind and cold <laughs> outside, so it's gonna be a little trick. So I'm not so wide open frame here because I, I have a little bit of brick here on the side that can protect me from the wind uh, and I'm gonna be applying the primer here very in the corner so a little bit trick to, to paint with with uh, wind I hope it is gonna get uh, well so this is the primer so this is a gray primer and I'm gonna apply for the whole part uh, this primer okay so I'm gonna start with with the back 
uh, because this is where I have less care, it's not gonna be showing up because then I can hold with by, by the back end uh, and apply on the outer surface that where is, uh, I care actually. So let's do it and I hope I don't get paint my, on myself. Okay guys, so it's ready. Are you ready to see the result? So here we have it. I think it turned out pretty nice. Let me remove it from the case so you can see. So yeah. So now uh, we have to place the sticker here. I didn't start to design the sticker yet, but uh, it's gonna be ready pretty soon. And in the next video, I'm gonna be showing you the new PCB design for this front panel. So I'm gonna go through on how to, on the schematics, and the PCB layout for it and hopefully we are already gonna have the PCB here and we're gonna be assembling the PCB then after that we are ready to start the firmware development so guys uh, see you in the next video I hope that you are enjoying this content please leave your comments here if you're liking the this project how things are going and I hope that uh, we're gonna have great um, ending for, for this project.